Hello everyone, and this is yet another Occupy Wall Street video. Yes, I know there's thousands and thousands and thousands of videos out there about this on YouTube and all across the nation because this thing's spreading like wildfire. 200 American cities, over 200 American cities are now protesting this. This is no longer just Occupy Wall Street, it's now Occupy Everywhere. Every, almost every American city has an Occupy, an Occupy movement in it. And it's really great because, like, people are starting to protest. People are just fed up with the country and the direction it's going. And I think it's great because we need different views. We can't have the Democrats and Republicans spewing, spewing out the same old garbage. You know, we need different voices and this is what makes democracy great the right to protest and even though there's been more violent confrontations especially those in Boston, Houston, Washington DC we have to keep fighting because the day we stop fighting is the day we lose we can't lose America America used to be one of the greatest countries in the world but now we're slipping do we really want to fall do we do we really want to make this a crap hole for our for our children and our grandchildren as they're like previous generations worked so hard to make this country so great honestly we have to keep fighting we have to protest we can't let those in power corrupt our great nation we need to keep moving and even if there's violent confrontations we have to keep going because there are going to be violent confrontations because people are going to want to stop this movement people don't like this movement do you think corporations want this to last another month another month or two how about nine months a year two years do they really want that do they really want it i mean seriously i mean nobody likes this satisfaction among the masses because people are now starting to see what this movement could mean. I know a lot of people say, oh, this is nothing, this is nothing, but this is going to be something. I mean, seriously, it's been a month now, and did people when this first started think this would last even a day? Well, now it's lasted a whole month. As more and more people are opening their eyes to this, I mean, this is just going to get bigger and bigger to the point where people won't but police won't be able to contain them. I mean, it's so easy to contain seven or eight people, but what about containing 10,000? It's very possible that it might reach 10,000 protesters because, I mean, are you really satisfied with government? I know a lot of people have work to do and all that, but seriously, the more and more longer this lasts, and once concrete ideas start to come out, people are going to believe. People need reason to believe, and if this whole Occupy movement gives people reason to believe they will join. They will join because, I mean, almost everyone's fed up with the way this country is going. I mean, who besides those that are actually making legitimate money, I mean, making billions and billions or millions and millions are actually satisfied with the state of this country? Do you think if you ask a whole lot of middle class people if they're satisfied? What do you think their answer will be? It's going to be no, because this country isn't going the the way we want it to go. It's, it isn't rising. It's going down. It's going down. So once people see that this movement is actually going somewhere, they're going to join. But the more and more people joining, the more violent confrontations are going to go on. Because one of these days, some nut is going to go nuts. And both sides are going to explode. I guarantee it. Both sides are going to explore. Just watch out for it. There's going to come a day where there might be some death in the street because you know, some somebody just took it a little too far. It might be sad, but it's the truth. The more and more <clears throat> this thing lasts, the greater chance of tragedy. But the thing is, we have to keep fighting. We have to keep protesting because, like I said before, if we if we don't if we stop, we lose. Do you really want to lose? Do you want to be among the generation that let America lose? Do you really want to be a loser? Come on, think about it.